Right now at five, we are tracking potential tropical cyclone nine. And this is something we're going to need to keep our eyes on. Now is the time to start paying attention because this is something you may have to get ready for. CBS 4 Chief Meteorologist Craig Setzer has the new advisory just in. Craig? Guys, so much to talk about tonight. Let's first talk about what is a potential tropical cyclone. Many years ago, the Hurricane Center couldn't issue watches and warnings without an advisory package to facilitate that. And sometimes they had systems that were going to become something that would threaten land and they needed warnings, but it hadn't become a tropical depression or a tropical storm yet. So then they created this product called the Potential Tropical Cyclone. But really think of it as a potential tropical storm. It just hasn't met the meteorological definition of a tropical storm yet. It does have tropical storm force winds, 40 miles an hour, but it is not technically a circulation of a tropical storm. So here's our latest advisory at 5 o'clock for our potential tropical storm here. Number nine, because it would be Isaias. That is the I name this year, Isaias. 40 mile an hour winds uh, moving to the west, northwest kind of zipping along, and this is part of that big, big disturbance circulation that's out there. There's the storm size right there, the tropical storm conditions in this yellow area. This is another thing we're going to be talking about this year a lot, and something that we're going to show you right here on CBS4. It's new this year. You know, we always talk about the cone. There's the cone. Here is the size of the wind field, the tropical storm conditions. They way, way dwarf the cone. So we're going to be showing you this forecast possible tropical storm condition area in addition to the cone. Remember, it doesn't matter if you're in or out of the cone. What matters is if you're hit by the storm. And when a storm or a potential storm is this big, the cone that tracks the center, that's great. But if you're here in the northern leeward the islands, you, you're out of the cone, but you are still in this storm. So here is our forecast point for Wednesday. That is Wednesday night into Thursday. That's Puerto Rico. There is Thursday night going into Friday. And at this point, it's very, very important to see what happens with uh, the system of the storm at that point at this point. If it tracks farther to the south, it's going to encounter Hispaniola. And it could be weakened substantially by the time it gets to the other side. And we've got a weaker system. If it tracks near or to the north, of Hispaniola, then it could stay strong and even be stronger by the time it gets into the Bahamas. And there is the four and five day point. Of course, the cone there is really big. And there are the tropical storm conditions forecast at this time based on this advisory to come into South Florida Saturday afternoon to Sunday afternoon. Those are the center points on it. Here's what we've been looking at today. There it is. Just a big, big mess, meteorologically speaking. Hard to find a center. Hurricane hunters have been out there much of the day looking. There is the approximate center up there. There are the hurricane hunters that have been flying around as we've been going through the day today. So what should we be doing here in South Florida? Well, the time frame on this is I think we want to have everything in place that we're going to need to be getting in place by Friday night, by sunset Friday because the weather could be getting bad on Saturday. Prepare for power outages this weekend, so we'll check generators and flashlights. Wind issues, so secure anything that would be blowing around by Friday night. Shutters, I think it's too early to call. Right now, it doesn't look like a shutter event, but we should know that by Thursday if it is. In the meantime, it wouldn't be a bad idea to check the shutters. More on what's going on. What about that Saharan dust out there? We'll talk about it coming up.